Thanks for watching our video. We thought we'd take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what it's like working as a psychologist in the black country. So, whether you're a trainee, newly qualified, an experienced practitioner, or maybe from another professional group, here are some experiences from our trust. I think my experiences of working in learning disability services, it's a really supportive environment to work in. I think everyone's got a real passion for the client group. What I really value about my role is the autonomy um, that I have to, to to make, you know, the ultimate diagnostic decisions that should impact people's care plan and get them the right level of support. I'm a counselling psychologist and I've been working with the organisation for 14 years. I'm really grateful for the opportunities that I've had in the organisation. I've had lots of developmental opportunities. Psychology and forensic services particularly, you're in a unique position where we can get involved in all the aspects of psychological work, whether that's training, education, supervision, direct work, group work. It's really great to feel valued and to be able to contribute to different projects within the organisation and feel that you've made a difference. We have occupational therapy, we have psychiatry, we have nurses, we have CBT therapists, we have social workers, and lots of different people in the team. It really feels like a true integrated multidisciplinary service. We don't carry risk on our own, we share risk. You do really feel part of it, you know, an integrated team and, and there's value in every element of that MDT for that shared formulation really, that, that shared care planning and formulation and risk assessment is essential to, to helping that person flourish. You're working with people who've lived their whole lives, you know, and you're coming in, it's very different than you're working with someone in the early stages of their life who's trying to define themselves. So, you know, it can, it can be a real privilege from that perspective. Our job is to help understand that risk and then how do we help this person get them closer to a life that is free from violence, aggression, abuse. When we get it right, it is one of the most rewarding careers to have. Psychologists are, I think, are an absolute vital, essential part of our MDTs and, and really excellent with the skill mix with medical staffing, uh, nursing staffing, occupational therapy staffing and also working very much with our partners as well, voluntary sector and social care. I think we get quite excited at the thought of people um, kind of building lives themselves outside of services. It's very rewarding to see them giving their best in terms of engagement with our sessions. It's about people finding lives that they love and um, yeah, and fight, building their recovery around that. It's definitely um, a, a trust or um, a psychology group that I'm in that really promotes a work-life balance as well, more so than any of the trusts that I've worked in. You do your work, of course, you get the, the job done, but they also highlight the importance of well-being. It's been an experience where I've had to sort of push myself out of my comfort zone and sort of learn new things and, and have new responsibilities that I never thought I would have. Um, and that's been really like helpful for me as a student to find my voice as something more than just a student. 